hi guys welcome to my channel today i'm going to share with you how to make this beautiful organza shirt with puff sleeves and a beautiful tie i've been wanting to make this shirt for a long time now it's been sitting on my photo gallery so today it's the day so if you want to know how it's done or how i did it please stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe and give this tutorial a good thumbs up so let's get started so guys we're going to start by drafting our pattern and of course i'm going to start by marking our guidelines so the first line or top line is going to be the shoulder line which is going to be half of my shoulder and i'm going to mark eight inches now from the shoulder line which is half of the armhole i'm going to mark 9.5 inches and then square a line across the pattern paper and join the two points and this line, as I said, is a shoulder line. The other line is the chest line. So from the shoulder line, I'm going to mark the full length of my blouse, which is going to be 26 inches, and then square a line across the pattern paper. The next thing is to take quarter of my bust up bust around circumference plus one and a half inch which is going to be for ease plus seam allowance then we are going to measure from the shoulder line to the waist and i'm just going to identify the waist line and then right on the waist line i am going to mark half of an inch this is just for shaping and connect the point to the chest line and another to the full length of the blouse now right at the bottom i'm going to mark half an inch and then going in by 2.5 inches and just create a curve right on the edge for shaping and then we are done guys with the bottom part of the blouse now moving ahead to the armhole before i create the armhole curve we need to mark the shoulder slope which is one inch from the shoulder line okay between these two points mark the center point i'm going to mark the center point and then the next thing is go in by half of an inch then i am going to mark one inch and just connect create a curved line and then with the straight line mark it join it with this point but before we do that let's create a neck width which is 3.5 then connect this two points together which is a shoulder slope now we're going to join these two points and now we are done creating our armhole curve this part is going to be for the front and the one that i'm marking with red is going to be for the back side of our blouse now for the neck depth for the back is going to be one inch and this one is going to be for the back and for the front i'm going to mark it around six inches and that is going to be the neck depth for the front so over here guys i'm adding seam allowance for the back neckline and i'm also going to add seam allowance also on the shoulder which is going to be one centimeter or half an inch seam allowance so as we're going to start cutting we're going to cut the back part and the back neckline then take this pattern trace it on a new pattern paper So once you're done drafting the back pattern, I'm going to put it aside and now trim off the front neckline right at the seam and also trim off the front armhole. So that's the difference between the front pattern and the back pattern, the armhole and also the neckline. Now we're going to move ahead and drafting the sleeve. Of course, you're going to need a new pattern paper which is folded and carefully measure around the armhole for the front. And the armhole is mine is 10 inches. So remember that this pattern, front pattern, has a seam. So first we're gonna mark a guideline right on top, okay? And then from the top part, 
okay to create that puffiness i am going to add around three in three inches right on top okay and then on the side i'm also going to add three inches and i'm going to mark a straight line from the top down to across the pattern paper So this is 3.5 inches on the side and right on top is 3 inches. That's the space I left for both at the top and also on the side. Now we need to measure the uh, cap's height which is bust divided by 12 minus 3 inches. And I'm going to mark a straight line again and across the pattern paper. Now in between this line you're going to take that measurement of the armhole, place it in between these two lines and just draw a line straight line and then you want to find now the full length of my blouse is going to be around 22 inches plus half an inch okay for hemming Now moving to the sleeve head, I'm going to find the center point of this line and then from that point I'm going to join it with that 3 inch mark we went up by. This is to create a sleeve head. Okay, so the next thing we are going to create the bottom part, mark half of an inch and join it with the sleeve head like so. So our sleeve is going to have the back side and also the front side. Now moving along to the bottom part of our sleeve, I'm just going to go in with half of an inch. This is again to shape the sleeve. Mark half of an inch and join it on the tip of the sleeve head. Now guys, please take note when I do cut out my sleeve, I'm going to start with the back side of the sleeve and then followed by the sleeve head. Now guys, on the wrist, I decided to do my own sleeve differently. I am going to do shearing on the sleeve. So what I'm going to do is just to create some lines. I'm going to mark one inch for hemming and then my shearing is going to be half an inch apart. So I marked four lines of which I'm going to share on my sleeve. So guys, I'm trimming off the front side of the sleeve. I opened up my sleeve and trimmed off the front side because there's a difference between the back side and the front side of the sleeve. The front is shallower compared to the back. And I'm going to create a notch right there and also on the center of the sleeve. Please make sure you transfer these notches onto your fabric because the sleeve head is going to be sewn on a gathered stitch. Now the pattern is complete guys, it's time for us to cut this on a fabric. So guys, over here I've got my front panel with the lining and also the organza. I'm going to go ahead and join the organza with the lining so that it's not a see-through and I'm just going to do that with a serger right on the side and do the same thing also with the back panel so i've done that guys i am going to join the back panel as you can see with the front right on the shoulders so i'm placing them right sides facing and so right on the shoulders using half an inch seam now for the sleeve, remember I said you should transfer your notches that you've marked onto your pattern. So we're going to go ahead and create a gathered stitch right on the sleeve head. And also I'm going to go ahead and create shearing. Next thing that I'm done, I'm going to go ahead and pull two strings and gather the sleeve head. And so guys, this is the elastic thread that I have and I'm going to go ahead and thread it 
and when you do so please make sure that you do not pull the thread okay you don't want to make it tight at all so once you're done this is how it will look go ahead and insert it into your bobbin and then loosen up the screw so that it doesn't break as you sew now guys it's time for us to shear our sleeve So now guys, I'm going to join the sleeve with the front and the back panel. So what I'm going to do is first join the tip of the armhole. That's how I uh, join my sleeve and open up the gathers so that they can spread equally on around the armhole of the gamut, okay? Then the next thing is you want to go ahead into a sewing machine and sew a straight stitch and our sleeves are attached the next thing is to turn your gamut the wrong side and sew the side seam i'm going to sew half an inch side seam for the front part of our blouse i just need to create a slit so what i'm going to do is to join the front part together on a fold mark half of an inch right on the neckline and then the length is going to be 2.5 so i'm just going to join these two it's going to be more like a v shape so i'm just going to join these two markings and then cut the small tiny v shape So I went ahead guys and cut a bias just to sew it around that tiny V shape. Okay, I'm just going to sew it around this V shape only. And then over here, I've got my collar. Okay, for my collar, I went ahead and I sewed it on the inside. Then I left an opening that is around the measurement of my neck line for the front and back. So what I'm going to do is I am going to open it up like so. And first I'm going to mark the center point of this collar. And also mark the center point also on my blouse. So joining these two, like I said, I'm going to open up my collar and join it right at the seam. So guys, once I am done pinning around the collar, I'm going to go ahead and do a straight stitch. Then the next thing is I am going to fold the other layer of the collar just to hide the seam in between. As you can see, I'm going to pin it down and the seam are going to be hidden in between the collar. They're not going to be exposed on the outside, including the inside. So I'm just going to pin the collar inside. And then once I am done, I'm going to take it into the sewing machine and do a straight stitch right on the edge. And for the bottom of the blouse, we're going to go ahead and fold it half an inch and another half an inch and do a straight stitch. As for the sleeve guys, we are almost done. We are going to do a rolled hem. I'll show you the results once I am done. And there we go guys. I really love how it turned out. And there we go, the sleeves. I hope you will enjoy making this project as much as I did. So as for me guys, see you on the next one.